well. How are you? Good, Good. same. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm starting off this episode by picking it up parts for this Sierra. I keep saying Silverado. I don't know why I keep saying Silverado, even though it's a Sierra. And you guys saw, I got a lot of parts. There's a lot of parts on the back order, like a core support, because I ordered different core support instead of the front, just the front end. I uh, ordered all the way from the firewall. Headlight is in the back order and some other stuff on the back order but for me main one is a headlight and the core support but oh well we don't have that i still can fix the frame i have a gauges so my body have a gauges that i can use to say uh if the frame is in the right location or not and like i did on the silverado when i fixed the frame and then install everything and it was telling me the uh, the frame actually wasn't uh, finished all the way so I had to go back and fix it so with this one it's probably gonna be the same thing it, unless if I make the frame dead on on point then the core support is just gonna bolt on in the frame and weld it to the firewall should be pretty simple I can't wait to get in the frame job I've got I'm kind of tired you can see that on me it's been crazy past couple months been super crazy for me but hey let's go home let's get the truck ready let's reload all the parts on it some of them install on it and let's go on the frame rack Hey guys got back home uh unload the some of the parts already over here what was in the cab also have a bunch of parts in the trailer it looks like it's gonna be radiator intercooler my basic condenser and something else what that big thing could be uh oh that could be shroud also so i got most of the parts not all the parts this is how much i spent this is the four pages the first page second third and this is the fourth page so $5,763.94 that's not a including what I spent already I believe I told you in the previous episode that was $2,700 actually I was wrong that was $2,500 so what is it again forgot $57 right $5,763 so $58 plus $25 $60 $70 uh, $73 $7,300 wow <laughs> actually not bad not bad and the core support i can return it the one i can i purchase it that's 300 something dollars plus i have to buy an airbag that will actually trade that for for airbag plus that plus this so total probably eight thousand dollar parts not bad not bad i would say for 2020 yes it's a base model but i still think it's good deal gonna be i don't remember what is it cost I believe purchased it for 26 or 27 plus 3000 dollar fees anyway I don't remember when I will find the paperwork later on I'll show you everything how much but so far probably close to what uh, 26 or 27 so I think it was 30 29000 dollars I believe I think it's close to 30,000 right here. So plus seven, almost 8,000. So that's roughly almost $40,000. So the whole truck probably gonna cost $40,000 at the end without my labor. That's gonna be parts and materials. I don't know. I don't know. 
you let me know what do you think 40,000 is it worth it 2020 duly 8,000 miles the base model LT what is it I believe it's called a LT oh, it doesn't even says what kind of trim package this is I believe this is LT since there is no leather there is not a whole lot going on anyway guys I'm getting off of the topic so uh, the, th the first thing what needs to be done open up the boxes find the intercooler and radiator so I can install it here I'm not gonna open up all the parts I'm gonna reuse uh, AC condenser I'm not gonna hook it up I'm gonna reuse this uh, two little two little uh, little radiators so that way I don't damage anything oh Jose no Pedro not the Jose Pedro have something for me what you got Pedro uh, I hope that's something for me so anyway let's start putting things together make this truck drivable kind of representable on the road so i don't get pulled over out of nowhere and let's go to the shop but we'll talk about it a little bit later what you got for me pedro you got your diapers oh uh, my diapers i need them yeah safe and clean huh you're reading <laughs> recording yeah oh. diapers for myself see that, that's how much I work. I, ca I cannot go to the bathroom, so I have to wear the diapers. <laughs> All right, Pedro, thank you. I, 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 I hope you brought me some parts, but hey, diapers works too. Thank you. All right, let's put this truck to the rollable position. <laughs> so what I got over here completely done and ready to be sold Silverado Dually check it out like damage never exists everything looks good right put the headlight grill and the bumper is gonna be good good to go back to auction right and sell it for, for lots and lots of money because people that do not understand rebuild they're gonna think oh wow there's a whole lot of damage when they're gonna open up the hood they're gonna be surprised anyway guys so i got everything here everything is hook uh, hooked up there is some space between the fan and the radiator which is a good thing uh this fender flopping is it's gonna be fine i'm gonna grab a piece of wire and gonna run the wire to here so it's not as floppy and won't hit the headlight over here i'm gonna have to attach the fender so it won't fly off so probably over here to this and over here to this and maybe i should put something uh, nah, just gonna tie it like that and it's gonna be I'm pretty sure it's gonna be just fine should be just fine should be no problems at all I don't see any problems do you run and drive I don't see any problem at all do you see a problem I don't so what I need to do right now is grab the oh gosh don't tell me that I don't have the antifreeze yellow antifreeze man totally forgot let's go check it out if I have a uh, orange antifreeze and if I don't I guess there's gonna be water I'm not willing to drive probably an hour there and back to buy antifreeze the system needs to be bleed out anyway so I should not waste the time and just grab a a bucket of water and fill it with the water since when we're not having any freezes already it's getting warmer so yep that's gonna be a good idea water
That's it. I'm done with the preparation to drive. Everything pretty good. I tried the hood. The hood is really good. Everything is tight with the... <laughs> uh, what, what is it? Uh, uh, rebar ties. And everything looks good. I'm ready to test drive this truck. Yeah, that's it, guys. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Trucking, let's set it up on the frame rack and start doing pulls. Hopefully, I'm going to be able today. By the time I was able to prepare all of this, we're currently 5.15. By the time I'll get there, it's gonna be six o'clock. By the time I will get in on, on the frame set up and everything, it's gonna be seven. And that time is time to go home. So it's gonna be a long day today. Anyway, let's go, let's test drive it. Let's see how this thing runs. Let's get this truck on the frame rack. I already drained all the water off of it, so now I need to disassemble back everything, and take the fenders off, at least one headlight, everything. And I'm gonna start uh, strapping this truck to the frame, so I need to put these blocks under and the chains, and then after that, I'm gonna be able to pull this mount over here and this mount over here and can make a game plan what I need to do. I'm finally done with the preparation in order to make a pulls. Pulled out all the wiring over here, freed up more space so I can work because all of this needs to be pulled. This. So first I wanted to do is, man, I'm probably should use two towers. I need to get this bracket off of here, grind it off, then grab over here, pull straight this way and then with another tower pull this so uh pull it kind of kind of this way you know so it would uh, go uh, all here also here so it would pull out this crease and probably gonna have to weld over here the plate and pull like i did on the sierra 2018 
Also when I hit and chained up whole thing. So this chain holds while I'm gonna be pulling that way. So I want, uh, this is basically safety chain. This is the main chain that holds it while I'm gonna be pulling that way. Since I'm gonna be pulling this way, the rear end gonna wanna go that way. That's why there is a chain. Also this chain over here and this chain over here. So I can pull it this way. It looks, it looks ready. I'm ready to start doing pulls. Also, spacers are bad, spacers are bad. Check this out, factory. What is it? Probably four inches, three and a half inch spacer. Spacers are bad, spacers are bad. There you go. Dooley uses OEM spacers. Factory, manufacturer. So, you make your own decisions. All right, let's move those two towers here because this tower, I broke it the other day when I was doing Silverado a couple weeks ago. I, I broke it for my friends, so. Unfortunately, that kind of stuff happens. I can't control it. I don't know what's bad. So I was pulling the frame down and then this tower start leaking. So I need to push this tower away and move this too. So I can pull, like I said, pull that and pull this straight here. Man, it's gonna be a fun day today. Let me update you on this uh, project, uh, I'm in progress. You can see over here, everything looks pretty good. Also over there inside, oh man, you can see how nicely it came out over here. Also over here, even though all of this is gonna be replaced, I need to get it as best as possible to the factory specs. You can see how this came out pretty good. This coming out pretty good. So uh, this point over here, that's where it needs to be. But this point over here is too low. Also pretty good thing over here that I have to pull out and you can see frame actually cracked over here. It's okay, that can be welded, grind it off, welded over here. Everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna wait on this side. I'm not gonna touch it right now because I want to completely be done with this frame over here. Now, uh, what I wanted to do right now, I brought my grinder and I'm gonna grind off this uh, mount, weld uh, this piece, piece of the mount or whatever you have over there. Maybe I can find something off of there and weld it to here, pull it and finish uh, finish this frame completely now check it out it looks straight right it's 
slightly dented over here but other than that it looks pretty good still looks kind of like that but i believe this is the tip that i'm gonna straight out because when i was pulling over here it tries to twist the metal so that's why i'm gonna have to work over here a little but other than that everything coming along pretty pretty good the sad part about this rebuild that i thought it's gonna be simple and easy this takes a lot of time this is my third day today and that's only for this corner <sighs> man and plus i'm gonna have to disassemble every oh man check it out <sighs> wow damage went all the way there i think the reason behind that because it's connected to this rail over here a pillar oh whatever it is I connected and when everything got pushed that way that got broken man more and more damage so i'm basically gonna have to take the uh, cow apart hold this side get all the brackets off of here disconnect all the wiring everything in order to replace all of this insane anyway uh, let's grind that off do a couple pulls and go home no not go home yeah go home <laughs> All right, guys, I'm finally done here. Coming out the area, took the truck outside and need to move this fender into the bed. I'm tired. It's eight o'clock Sunday. You don't believe me? There you go. Sunday, eight o'clock. Tomorrow I have to work construction. I'm done for this episode, guys. Hope you did enjoy this framework. Smash the like button. I think I deserve it. And if you want to see Inside Scoop before YouTube, Follow me on Instagram. Thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you next one.